Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, this is not the kind of video that I enjoy doing, but hopefully it will be beneficial to some of you, and this is due to happen to most of you at some point, um, for one reason or another. Uh, this is my uh, P. Pitaceni, uh, P. Vitata, sorry, uh, previously P. Pitaceni. Um, and I've been doing my usual maintenance and all of my T's are doing great, but this one is in a, it's not quite in death kill, but it's kind of struggling a little bit, it's not in its usual pose, and um, I don't want to stress it out, but if I just touch it very carefully, you'll see that it's, um, it's unable to sort of walk properly. Um, could be a number of things, it could just be hungry, dehydration, um, I'm not sure why, I mean the enclosure sprayed every sort of, you know, usually every morning, um, very lightly for these, um, and all the others are doing well, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to hopefully sort of fix this problem, I guess, so I'm going to do very, very carefully, is I'm going to actually take the spider out. place it into this bit of an ICU. You can see it's not crawling very well. So I'm going to place it in there, I've sprayed it to make sure it's got plenty of humidity. And I've got here a uh, cockroach which I have literally mangled up. Uh, it's pretty much unable to move. I'm going to place that head down. It can barely move in there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I don't use paper towels. Paper towels, um, there's obviously chemicals and things like that, um, which I don't really want my teas to be ingesting. So I just use substrate or even like a bit of bark, place them on that, give it a spray around the outside, and give the uh, substrate a bit of a spray. And all I would do with that now is place the lid on, like so. And I will now leave that until the morning, check on it again, and then come back to it a little bit later on, every few hours, and just see how it's getting on, I suppose. And hopefully, it will uh, it'll make a recovery. But only time will tell, so we'll just leave it alone, and I'll come back to it later. Okay, then everyone, good morning, and I'm going to be checking up on my pokey, and there you go. Um, it hasn't eaten the food, um, but the food um, has died anyway. It didn't pose any kind of threat to the uh, spider, so that'll be moved out, and the actual spider itself, there you go back to basically perfect health I guess. What I'm going to do um, is just give the enclosure another spray. I did spray it last night. Um, just very quickly spray this. And I don't know why it happens to be fair. Um, it doesn't happen very often with me. Um, but it's bound to happen to people at some point and it's something that is it sort of it can be avoided but other times it will just happen if that makes sense um, I think the main thing is to notice it as soon as possible and to you know get it sorted and that's the best way to, to do it like I said substrate um, I always put food in there that's kind of crushed up so it can't disturb the spider or harm it and then um, you know spray it you know and it should be fine I don't need paper towels as I've said because of the uh, kind of the dye in it and things the chemicals so I'm going to be placing this uh, little guy back into his enclosure I don't really want him to come on to me he's actually missing a leg if you can see that on the 
on his left side. So what I'm going to do, very carefully grab the enclosure and just looks okay there. Give him a bit of poke. And then hopefully he will go back you know, down onto his log. And all is good. I mean there's no food in there that was stressing him out. I have checked it. Uh, you can see he's got his it's hard there, there's plenty of room for him. And so I don't know what caused this to happen, um, but like I said, it does happen occasionally. Um, all of my teas are fed and watered at the same time. Anyone who's been to my house when I do feeding videos, friends, family, um, occasionally other YouTubers will pop here. Um, I get them out and I usually feed them, you know, sort of over two days I'll do it. Um, it's not always easy to explain why this happens, but like I said, it does happen. So hopefully this will kind of show you if you've got a tea that you think is in really bad health and isn't looking good, that this is the best thing to do. So again, very, very quickly, um, a pot suitable for the spider. You don't want it to be too cramped in there. Um, not many people put the food in, but I do it because I think if they are, if they are hungry, um, they will eat. I've had spiders in ICU. Um, the day of uh, molting, a good example was Steve. He molted and lost four legs, and I put him into an ICU. And I put uh, some food in there, which was like this one, um, was you know kind of crushed up, um, and he ate it uh, the same day. So, um, but if you're not going to put the food in, that's fine. Just give it a quick spray, and they should be uh, they should be all good. I'll take that food out because that's no good. I'll change the substrate in there, I'll just chuck that away. And uh, yeah, there we go, quick video, I see you. Hopefully that will help some of you, if uh, this ever happens, I hope it doesn't, but if it does, um, this is the best thing to do, and this was done over, I didn't get back till midnight last night when I filmed that video, but half twelve, it's now ten in the morning, so literally nine hours in ICU, and you can see the difference. So uh, yeah, I hope it's been helpful to some of you anyway. Thank you for watching as always, and any requests, please keep them coming. And as always, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.